Hi, I'm Andre, and I had to get on camera to talk about this. You probably have seen it online. It's trending. I can't believe that Rita Repulsa is trending. <laughs> if Twitter was in 1993, then I could understand it. But today, that's just crazy. Today on People, on Time, and on Entertainment Weekly, they released the official first photo of Elizabeth Banks dressed as Rita. Um, what I find interesting about the internet is that uh, ever since the 90s, I have been made fun of for liking Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Because to be real with you, I don't think I was ever in the target age demographic for the show, even when it first came out. <laughs> so I've always been hearing like, Andre, why do you like Power Rangers? It's stupid, it's cheesy, it's for kids, it doesn't make any sense. Half of us is in Japan, the other half's in some place in the valley <laughs> in California. Why do you like that show? And even to this day, well, you know, there's so many cool things you could like, Andre. There's Marvel, there's DC, there's all these superheroes and anime. Why do you like Power Rangers? It's stupid. And now all of a sudden today, <laughs> everybody seems to be a Power Ranger fan and a Rita Repulsa expert. <laughs> Where's Kermit the Frog with that little T? It is impressive to see how everyone all of a sudden has an opinion of how Rita should look. I will put like a screen cap from one of the websites. I don't know if I can put the official photo just because it is an exclusive photo. I'll put links in the description to all the articles. What I would recommend is go to the people.com article because that gives you most of the information. They actually had an interview with Elizabeth Banks and she gave a couple of quotes that I'm gonna read off here. And then go to the Entertainment Weekly article because that has the biggest picture that I've seen of it. It has the picture and then you can click on it and it makes a bigger version of it. And that's probably the best way that I would say look at it, particularly if you're on a computer. Obviously does not look like the Rita from the 90s series. She looks completely different and I expected that. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew she wasn't gonna look like the Rita that we remember from the television series because it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was a cheesy television series. As much as I love it, it's a cheesy television series. So I knew they were gonna make a lot of changes to it. And this was a pretty crazy change, but is it? If you really truly think about it, is it really that crazy? You look at that photo, she's wearing all green. She's got kind of scale-like uh, edges on her outfit. She's got gold talent. Even they even mentioned that in the People article. As Rita Repulsa, Banks is decked out in reptilian-like green getup and hair with menacing gold talons to match. Why would they make the villain of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers dressed in all green and gold. I have no idea why they would do something like that. I don't know where in Power Rangers lore we've seen somebody wearing a lot of green and gold. <laughs> green and gold, green and gold. We all know Tommy wore green and gold. Uh, here's my theory. The reason why I think she is dressed this way is because either she is formerly the Green Ranger, will become the Green Ranger, or what I'm assuming is she will create her own Green Ranger, and seeing as Rita is a very vain character, she's going to make the Green Ranger in her image, her image of course being her outfit. Because if you look at the outfit, it's Green Ranger-esque. We wanted to give her a backstory that connects her to the new Rangers. And I feel like Rita's always kind of had a backstory. I mean, we always knew that Rita and, and uh, Zordon kind of had it out for each other, but if they're trying to connect it some more, I'm pretty interested to see how that's going to be. I hope it's not too crazy like Amazing Spider-Man 2 connected where everybody just knows everybody type of thing. But if there's something with her, maybe with the power coins, maybe she was trying to get hold of it and Zordon got them and she's upset about it and that's why she's attacking. And then somehow, like I said, she either figures out uh, how to get another power coin to create a Green Ranger or maybe she just figures out from her own power how to create a Green Ranger, however it is to be. I think it's obvious from this outfit that that's something they're gonna set up. Now the question is, will they set it up in this movie or will they set it up in a future movie? I could be all wrong with this. This is a total theory, let me put that out there. I know nothing about this movie. I got no personal information. The only thing I got was this email from Saban saying, hey, check out this article about the new Rita, but I got nothing else but that. So I'm just theorizing here, but I think it just feels kind of like on the nose that Rita is dressed in all green and gold. So that's why I think they made the outfit that way. You know what? I'm just gonna let it be what it is. I, I, is it the outfit I would have thought that they were gonna do? Absolutely not. I would have never had this vision. Yes, the outfit that she's wearing is kind of more Diva Talk slash Scorpina than it is Rita Repulsa, but it is what it is. Uh, and I'm just gonna let it be what it is and I'm just gonna see how it looks in the context of the film. Because one thing I will give it is I'm glad that it is at least some color to it. I was afraid that 
it was all gonna be, you know, gritty reboot, brown, blue, black, and gray. Like, you know, when usually when something wants to go from, hey, it's really colorful to, hey, let's make it super serious, they get rid of all the color. So I'm glad that she's actually wearing color. You know what, it's just an image. I'm just gonna wait till I see some footage. I wanna see how she's gonna play Rita. I wanna see the tone of this movie, which she haven't had. But you know what? I'm still going to this thing like it's a reboot, man. We just got we got to accept that fact. And hopefully all I can ask is that, as I said before, as long as the essence of Power Rangers is in prime form in this movie, then I'm good. I want this to be a new thing and a good thing. We'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, it is made by Lionsgate. I feel like there's going to be some Hunger Games just esque. <laughs> Hunger is that a word? Hunger Games just esque. Some Hunger Games ness. Some Hunger it's going to be Hunger Gamey <laughs> a little bit. It could be. But uh, I'm hoping for the best, and I just hope that Elizabeth Banks gives a good performance as Rita. Uh, and I look forward to people who cosplay as this outfit, because that's going to happen. I'm waiting for the first Rita cosplay in this new outfit. Make it happen, because I will be at the conventions, and I want to take a picture with you if you dress like that. <laughs> so just be careful with that rope, Elizabeth Banks. You got a lot of rope around your neck. I don't want you choking yourself. <laughs> Rita be doing at night with that rope. That's all I want to know. <laughs> that ain't the last of a truth you got there, Rita. I'm going to get out of here. Let me know what you think about this new Rita. Do you like the outfit? Do you think it's a new cool take on Rita? Or do you think it is wrong because it should be faithful to the original series? What do you feel like? I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Chain chomp. Yo. <laughs>